Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here at the very tippy top of West Hill in the Keep. This is a survival multiplayer server that's coming up on seven years old and this build is coming up on four years old this fall. We've been at this a while. And so uh, we're gonna pick up on something new today. I was gonna say where we left off, but uh, the pumpkin farm that we've been working on, we actually, uh, we finished that that's out there so that that part's done now i'm not sure what we're doing doing next we're going to check the book check the list sweet sandy subscribed to tier one 42 months the answer to life the universe and everything thanks ever so much sandy for the lovely support flux synthesis blast jordan super fast good to see y'all and welcome in to i think it was craft i'm surge saying hi earlier appreciate it hope you're all having a good afternoon also it's wednesday i don't normally stream on wednesday or i didn't normally stream on wednesdays i do now i have moved my sunday stream to wednesday still going to be minecraft instead of uh thursday through sunday i'm going to be doing wednesday through saturday on twitch and uh, that's just going to give me a free sunday for the summer to do things like family barbecues and stuff like that. Uh, so it's going to be nice, I think. Uh, a lot of my friends and family have regular nine to fives, so it's going to be a lot easier to spend time with them when I have at least one day off on the weekend, which is going to be very cool. And hey, really good timing from Triple T Tom. Rating with a party of 20. Thanks ever so much. It's a Tom raid. Fantastic. Sherlock Fox, welcome in. Thanks so so much for saying hi. Dan Grice says, what is the summer you're on about? It's summer weather here now. We've, we had a rainy, rainy Canada Day weekend, but we're now into normal summer weather. Yellow 94 double T, Mike Burton 1972, welcome in. Thanks for coming in with that uh, IT Tom raid. How do you pronounce your name, Tom? What's the, what's the deal? Also, let us know what you're doing in Minecraft. You're playing Minecraft on Twitch. Folks in my chat, if you want to go follow Triple T Tom and find out ITT Tom. Cool. I'm assuming you're supposed to pronounce all the letters. Let us know what you're up to in Minecraft. Folks in my chat, if you want to go follow ITT Tom or just Tom. Tom is good. We'll go with Tom. Check out what Tom is doing. If you enjoy it, then leave them a follow. Thanks for sending over your viewers. I will promise to take good care of them some villager moving oh that sounds frustrating <laughs> there's a reason i don't do that anymore there's a reason i don't do that anymore well welcome in folks you're uh, at a good point because we're on top of the west hill keep so you get a good vantage point of the work that we've been doing in this uh build for the last three plus years we've got front gates back gates riversides we've got farms in the distance all kinds of stuff. But right now we need to go to the basement and figure out what we're gonna do next. Oh, you're not supposed to be in here. Where did you come from? Interesting. Where, where? Ah. Probably right there <laughs> would be my guess. The zeros have it, folks. That's probably where he came from. I guess I don't need the shaders on anymore. Deep, 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 deep into the bowels. We haven't really moved that much. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's great. Just a reminder that Cosmic is watching, always watching. <laughs> That's great. Hold on. That's missing something. Cosmic missed an opportunity. A little hard to read. Can I not? Oh, it is. It is died. Oh, I know what I need. Not that that I want. It's this. There we go. <laughs> Much easier to see. Much easier to see. Uh, me thinks me here's a wandering trader somewhere nearby. 
We're gonna see if we can get some mini blocks. I hear you. Where did I hear you? I might have to take flight here to find this guy. So those are not cosmic placed blocks, those are Joel placed blocks. I hear him, where did he go? We've got the Wandering Trades data pack for people that are new to the stream and uh, we get mini blocks from the Wandering Trader. Sometimes he spawns in here. Maybe he was up higher. You're getting a little mini tour. All the folks who just came in. Super fast, thanks for the lurk, appreciate it. Can you see him on the map? I don't think so. I have entities turned off. There he is. I knew it was close by. What shall we be buying today? You know what? Maybe not so much. Uh, I'll do the calcite and the wool. And oak logs, why not? Purple. Well, that's an easy list. Calcite, white wool, oak logs, and purple. That'll be easy to find. We've got all of our stuff downstairs. Don't have a lot of emeralds though. Is there only four of those? One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. There's the purple block. White wool. Calcite. Oak logs. So we'll just get these and hopefully he won't show up for the rest of the stream. Uh, are we playing Bedrock, Tom? Was that what you were up to? I never, I don't know if villagers are Easier or, or not easy? We already had some of those, that's fine. Calcite. And the white wool. We could probably... Rearrange some of these. It's a player head. Also, player head. Deep slate blocks. Get the special ones down here. Cool. Put all that away. We'll fly these over quickly. Actually, I guess I can go this way. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Cosmic Dancer. Just wanted to pop by for Joel to find my present. Yes, I did find it. <laughs> we improved it. We have given it neon writing. 
Yeah, that was pretty funny. I like I like the three the three heads was was pretty unique. Uh, purple, white wool. These are all heads, I think. Yeah. Thanks again for coming by, Cosmic. We uh, appreciate the thought. <laughs> Pretty funny. And while we appreciate it, we are not going to look at it all straight. You know, you forget sometimes what your server mates skins look like because they uh, everybody's always in helmets all the time, right? I guess I can just put those in there. Oh, I'm full. Oh, that's a named thing. Uh, I guess I don't need that anywhere. Oh, I've got mini blocks there I could have put away too. Whoops. That's full. Jeez. Come out of the keep of West Hill. Is there a cherry blossom over here? Oh, there is. <laughs> so there is. That's funny. All right. Um... Where did the book go? West Hill Pilgrims. There we go. It was the right height to miss it. Totally. It's been raining pink on you for weeks. Oh, I guess the... um, That's a good... That's kind of a fun prank in that they, the cherry blossoms have little cherry leaves that fall from them. So even though I couldn't see it, you're waiting for me to notice the particles. That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. All right, so the keep we're not doing until I get tough blocks. So I think we're gonna wait for that. I uh, I tried to update to 1.21 today, but I can't figure out which one of my mods is not letting the game run. So it's gonna take a lot longer to sort that out. So I, re I really don't know. I have to start one mod at a time to figure out what's going on, which is not great. Yeah, so that's going to be last. Uh, north gate. Tables and chairs check inside the top design. That'll be an easy thing to check off. The crossroads signs. Uh, that's been done. So I think the crossroads is done. Uh, oh, we've not done the north gate road. Road to farms, east road to bridge, road over hill. Yeah, those are the road textures. Those will need to be done. That's all done. I think this is technically done. Curtain wall field, north marsh grass, west hill river in grass. Yeah. Those are things we can do. Spruce River points of interest and the North Riverbanks. 
Spruce River, right. So this is the Spruce River full list. Points of interest, North River Banks. Looks like the East River is all finished. And then the abandoned farms. That technically should be part of the Spruce River. And that's it. So really, it's probably we should we should probably look at the riverbank. That makes the most sense in terms of where we should be. I'll sleep here. Off X Chrissy, hello, welcome in. Zeroed, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Thanks, Cosmic. Have a good afternoon. So some of the road texture that we need to do is going to be out here, but I think the thing I want to tackle is the path that we started on Sunday. Uh, I mean, technically we could do the texture on all of this if I want to. I'd like to finish this grassy area here before we do the texture on the road. And I'd like to finish whatever we decide is going to be in here. I've got a funny feeling there's going to be a house going in there. So we also have to figure out what's happening along here, which is very empty. So I need to figure out what we might be able to do. I don't think I want to put a tree here. It could be fun to have a small, small tree or something like right here that as you're walking down this way maybe there's a tree like in this space nothing big just a little one sort of like that you know that could be cool it would also kind of fill in this area here from this angle that might be worth doing uh, for now, though, I think what we'll do is we'll try to finish up this this area here. So we'll get some bushes and some grass and some dirt, and we'll try to sort this path out. And before I do that, I think what I'm going to do is going to do is go look at the other paths that we've done. There's a few others over on the other river, and I like the way that they look. So I'm going to refresh my memory as to how they they came together. No, it's a private server. So we've got this path, and right away you can see some of the differences, right? Some new blocks and stuff. And then I did use a fair amount of wood through here, so I'd like to do that, I think over the other place. Trap doors, they really help with making it look a little bit more natural. That's one. And then the other ones, oh, right over there. So really just about every brown block in the game. I'm trying to show off stuff on the server. That is a thunderstorm if I've ever seen one. Hold on. this path oh this is all very much a wooden staircase right yeah so i don't want to do that i like the bottom mostly coarse dirt i like the packed mud that's a really nice combo as well also roots and stuff in the ground okay
See, this feels really open and empty. It feels like people would walk across that more. So I don't know. I'm not sure whether I need to put another path over this way. Like maybe there should be... Maybe there should be a path that kind of connects this way, like a footpath. That would make sense. That's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I can throw one of those in quick today. It might be a, a day where we kind of lean into our inspiration. I should do that tree and that this path before I forget about them. That's probably a, a good idea. Nice with the buildings and beds all over the place. Yep, 100%. So let's look at um, road texture, fields and grasses, curtain wall field. Let's just do extra path. Uh, that direction is east. Uh, and we'll do small custom tree. I like what I did along the north road where I've added some mud along the, the side of the road so that could be fun to do too and i find that a tree stump or a tree provide like a good opportunity to do that so we will obviously need this we're gonna need all of our root blocks and things Grass. Need to turn some of this coarse dirt into actual, or dirt into coarse dirt here. Hold on. Gonna get more gravel soon. We are gonna need all of that. Uh, stock this back up again. Should be good. Oh, moss. Definitely going to need that. And then probably these. Mangrove. don't think we'll need the jungle. There wasn't much cobble that I remember. Probably want to bring some just in case. I think we're good. I just have to check the uh, quantities in here to make sure we've got enough of what I want. Yeah, we should be good. All right, if 
if I'm forgetting anything, then I know where to come to get some. Travel bed is already in here. We've got everything in the backpack. Where did it go? Where do I want to set up shop? That's the other thing. Uh, some place that's easy to get to, but maybe not too far. It's hard because I want to work on a couple different areas here. Maybe I should just set up in the crossroads. That might be the easiest, even though we're a little bit far away. I could set up here. Here should be okay. New grass, grass. All right, these always face the right, the wrong direction, don't they? And then cobblestone. Nope, that's not cobblestone. Cool. Uh, let's tackle that tree first. And before I even do that, I want to um, I want to take a look at this other spot. So a lot of these roads, the, the green goes right up against the concrete, or the not the concrete, but like the stone path. But I like these little bits of brown that help break that up. I mean, it looks fine here when you've got this wall, but uh, some of this other stuff feels very very plain along here, right? But I did this thing over here where I was able to use a tree stump to then just create something here to just kind of like have that be different than all the grass colors. And I helped, I think it helps break things up a lot. So sand, roots, soil, soil. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to do a stump though. We're going to do an actual tree. Looking forward to finishing that road too. It'll be fun.
Yeah, I would have set up on the bridge, Sandy, but the bridge has got all kinds of slabs. So, like, there's only so many different levels that you can put your stuff down on. So let's go with oak, spruce, I'll need some scaffolding. Maybe we'll try to mix in some jungle leaves. I don't know. Should be most of what I need. So location, what I'm thinking about when I want to put a custom tree in places like this I think about how I want it to fit into the view. So I'm thinking the tree should go kind of like in this space here. That to me means kind of like in this direction. So I'm just going to see somewhere around here maybe. I mean, that's about right if you ask me. But does it line up with? Yeah, I mean, I think it it does a nice kind of wipe as you get closer to things. How does it look going the other way? Yeah, the sunset looks nice when you go down the west road, totally. Yeah, that's good because from over here, that's kind of in the middle of that wall. That was actually a pretty good first try. I'm good with that. I might try a block this way. Just to make it a little bit easier to work into the landscape and so it's not in the dead middle of everything it does kind of cover up that nice cascading vine it's the only thing although i guess you can see it that from here now i don't know if that's too close to the road I think I like it better than in the dead middle. It was kind of like in the middle of everything. It felt a little bit too perfect. So I think I like it where it is. And that was five blocks tall. And this we could maybe even have it come this way a little bit. Two, three, four, five. Now, do these look similar or different? Need my shears.
That's kind of the same color as everything. Maybe we should make it an azalea tree. Just so that the leaf blocks are a little bit lighter. I'm going to change the shape of it too. I just... Grab some different leaves. Yeah, I think we go with Azalea. We could still have some jungle, maybe. And I definitely want it to have a little bit more of a angle to it. Anybody who desperately want log textured slabs and stairs? I know I do. I'm pretty sure I want jungle to be like the dark version. Yep. Subtle. It does work. Whoops. Feels a little bit chunky. Maybe we can get rid of this slab. Yeah, such a stretch of the imagination with these stairs. I know that I've done another custom tree similar to this over on the east side. Let's just go check that out. All the slabs zeroed? Yeah. We were talking about that on the spawn chunks on Monday. About concrete and how it could be really interesting to make concrete slabs. Have it be a different way to craft them. Johnny was thinking about like the sacrifices that you might make to do something manually versus have it be something that's automatic in the crafter. Well, that works okay there. I think maybe that's what it's missing as a branch instead of being too crooked on the trunk. It's always a lot easier to do custom trees when they're big.
Maybe it's too small. I don't think I want it to get it too much bigger than the way that it is now. I like that it looks like it's kind of growing out of the road. Like it was probably here and then someone put the road in it. It kind of had to naturally grow in the different direction. That looks pretty good. I like the kind of like the double side to it. Uh, of course, I'm out of fence gates. Doesn't look too bad, you know? Don't need to maybe smooth out the top a little bit. What else does it need? I don't want to get rid of that that indent because it, it does give it that kind of like M shape. Pretty good. I keep on trying to put moss on top of trees, but it doesn't seem to work all that well. We could definitely use some vines, though. Well, that tends to highlight, so maybe we'll not do that on the underside. Maybe we'll do that a little bit higher. Maybe we'll put the vines up. find it kind of brings that forward a bit. See how those two blocks look lighter than those two blocks?
Not bad. It's probably, it might be the only tree. I don't know. I don't overdo it. It feels like it needs to be a little bit bigger on the left-hand side. Well, sorry, the right-hand side. The left-hand side from the other direction. So here. It looks like it's reaching that way, but then it's heavy on that side. I guess the idea there would be to maybe extend it this way. That's not bad. I've never really done that where you kind of do like a checker pattern with the tree. I like that it gives it some depth. That feels a little funny. Yeah. I almost want this to go out farther. And that see that feels too too big. It's so hard to get the density of trees right. Because we all know what, what a tree looks like in real life, but then you go to actually make it a lot harder to pull off. See, this is where I'd want like a leaf slab or something. Try to keep it light. Without having that leaf in the middle, maybe that helps a little bit. Something can look not like a tree. It's a tree. Things that grow such odd ways sometimes. I'm not sure there's a wrong way to build a tree. No, that's a fair point, Sandy. You know, that's that's a fair point. I think the problem is that, of course, in Minecraft, you're dealing with meter-wide adjustments, right? Like, I don't like that top block that I just added. It's it's too much in the other direction. There's that squid again. I wonder if that's the, it's the same spot. I wonder if it's the same squid. Oh, it's probably a water problem. That's probably what it is. It's probably squids in the same location. We 
You're getting stuck on the, uh, the bubble column. That's what it is. Parkour. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, it's not bad. This feels a little pointy, so maybe we'll add that there. Realize I've made this into like a T-shape. I wonder if I can get away with a fence gate under here instead. That works a little bit better. Yeah, it feels flat when you're next to it, but it does have a nice shape overall. I'm just curious what it looks like with shaders on. Oh, much different. Leaf blocks just always get such a highlight in the shader pack. So if we pay attention to the the goal here, which is to create something to break up the foreground and the background and to kind of subdivide what you're looking at. So this from this angle, it cuts the main road there. Not dead in the middle, but it, it breaks up. Like you can see the road going this way and then you can see it coming out the other side, but it creates a nice kind of foreground element and then kind of pops in between there. You still got the bridge in the background and the, the inn. And then when you get down to this level, it's now kind of like in the way of the main gate. But then you can see all this stuff. And it doesn't, it's not so big that it completely hides it. So you can still see everything passing behind it. I think that looks good. Sweet Sandy, thanks for the, uh, the lurk. Sorry. The EP Panda, thank you for the lurk. Sweet Sandy was not lurking. They were also thanking Panda for the lurk. Yes, and thank you, Sandy. It's time for the break. As as you can see, I'm having trouble reading the chat. I think that looks really good. I That's probably the fastest custom tree that I've ever done. And it didn't take the full hour because we 100% did a lot of like tinkering in the storage. So it, it helps break up all the gray as well, which is nice. There's a nice sort of like idea of scale, like some of the, I mean, these are obviously bigger trees, but um, 
it definitely makes it feel like it's way in the distance, right? I like it. And you'd never really be able to tell the texture changes, so very cool. Yeah, uh, I'm going to take that break for folks that are new in chat. I do step away once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another coffee or a glass of water, whatever. You should do the same. Grab yourself a snack and uh, maybe even grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming and I will be back in five or six minutes.
So now that we know where that tree is going to stay, I think we can uh, add in some roots and dirt and stuff around the bottom. And I think that will help the uh, kind of the attachment into the, the side of the hill here. Break it up a little bit. Add in some dirt. I don't know if I want to put the dirt up here. I want to put it down here. Probably, probably this space here would be my guess. So I think maybe we'll put this really close to the trunk. Need to go look at those other trees. I know I've done this before. It's the nice thing about having a world that's, you know, so old and a build that's almost half as old as the world uh, is that you get lots of reference. Coarse dirt is what I'm missing. And roots too. Yeah, there's a lot more, a lot more darker blocks, and no concrete either. Yeah, so maybe we'll replace this. Didn't bring any coarse dirt. The mighty Elkhorn is here. Hello, Elkhorn. Hello, hello. Uh, coarse dirt slabs. Here it might be worth putting in like a coarse dirt slab. Yeah, and then maybe I'll switch these two. That just feels like a really harsh line, so we'll have to break that up somehow. I think maybe the way to do it is going to be with some lighter grass blocks. Might even use some wool. Do I have more terracotta? I think I do. Not in that color. And this is why I like end game Minecraft. Plus data packs that let you Redye stuff.
That still doesn't really help the edge there, does it? Ah, uh, what can we put here? Oh, that's even lighter. Never mind. Maybe I can drop a leaf block down here. Yeah, okay, but I'll do a different one. I'll do Acacia. It is a sharp corner. Hey, Grandpa Crafter, how's it going? That helps a little bit. Yeah, plus I, I've got carpets I can use too. That helps. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. It's so smooth, it just doesn't quite work. What other block could I put there? Whoops. I guess that works. That looks all right. To maybe bring this in and around a little bit. It's a very straight line. I've not done anything down here at all.
probably soften this with a bush too. Maybe two. Been playing with the leaves in the ground on my own terraforming and I'm hooked, Joel. Hey, CJ, glad I can inspire and share some tips. Yeah, the carpet really helps with like a, a push pull. Like it helps recess things, right? This looks like it was dark and into the ground anyway, but then you put something next to it that's higher and it really starts to feel like even though this is the same level as all of that it feels lower right because this sort of bleeds together i think maybe we'll switch this to Yeah, that looks all right. We'll add some grass in there as well, I'm sure. I don't want to get too carried away because I don't know what I'm doing down that way, but I feel like that kind of completes the look. That's good. Yep. Good, good. I just need to switch out a couple of things. Grass, ferns. So coming from this angle, I was thinking that maybe we could put a button here. Yeah. I don't think it's really needed on this side. I could leave it, it's fine. And then for grass, I don't want to cover it up, but I want to create some depth. Wish we had lower grass sometimes. Now here's a section that there's a, actually, I was thinking about making a path over here somewhere. I think maybe this could be a path to come down here because this is a pretty cool view. 
Would it be there? Yeah, that's probably where I would put it. Feels like something here needs to happen. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, maybe we can break this up a bit. Or put some dropped bushes in here. After a while, I start to use the same tricks. I don't know about the trapdoor, but I like that. Put the other blocks back, I think. Yeah, one eighth of a block really does make a difference. You you wouldn't think, but I think it's because we're just so used to having to deal with giant steps, like either a slab or a full block, you know? So one thing that usually looks good next to moss is stripped spruce. Starting to work. Switch that around.
I always feel like there's a fourth texture that I need. You forget that the mangrove wood, it's not quite as heavily lined as some of the others. I find it can work well. I think the leaves in the ground thing is also a it's almost like using the the, the carpet like the little eighth block it's it's got that I can think it's because of the depth I think it almost like it's almost like you can see an eighth in the other direction Yeah, I feel like this has a lot harder lines than mangrove. Maybe the other way around. It's great how mangrove and moss go well together. Maybe I'm just pushing this in the wrong direction. Man, hard to balance. I guess that's good enough for now. Yeah, I think that's a decent Point of interest. Oh, I think we switched those. Yeah. There we go. Nice little border.
Did I put all the moss back? I guess I put all the moss back. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. So much inventory switching. I apologize. But a necessary evil. So many switches. Fishing spot? I don't know. <coughs> Pardon me. It was more of a boat, just like a place to come and look at the wall. Put so much emphasis on the marsh. I feel like you almost don't notice it. So it's kind of nice to have a spot to come and look at it. All oh, those line up crap. You know, I don't think it needs extra. We're good there. Give me one second, folks. Realized I left my glass of water in the other room. That feels like kind of a straight line. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Nice little touch. Uh, what I want to do here is maybe bring in... I don't think I brought Andesite with me. Maybe I did. Cobble, mossy cobble. Oh, I did bring Andesite. Good. Sometimes it's nice to kind of bring some of this wear and tear into the road a little bit.
Hmm. I think we're done with most of that. Blast Jordan says you're back from work and brain.exe has successfully stopped. <laughs> I've never heard that before. I mean, I, I know the reference. I know what you're saying, but like, I don't think I've ever heard anybody use it quite like that. That's interesting. A lot of fun. What did I do over here? Did I use cobble anything? This cracked andesite. Yeah, okay. I don't know whether cobble would be too much. Sort of. Maybe if I switch these. That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, that's working out all right. I feel like it sort of pulls that worn texture down into the road a bit. Hunter, subscribing at tier one, 43 months. Just one month ahead of Sandy. Thanks ever so much, Hunter. I really appreciate the support. Folks in chat, if you're looking to join the Discord, you can do it with a tier one sub, just like Hunter uh, and Sandy. Obviously, they've been a member of the community for quite some time. Um, but uh, you can also join the Patreon if you want to join the Discord. Two different ways. Very easy. Uh, Patreon is very affordable. It's only $2 a month. It's less than the price of a cup of coffee. Goes a long way to help me continue to stream. All right. I think I'm good. I think I'm going to walk away from that. Custom tree complete. Uh, I do want to continue on with the path idea though, and I want to rough out that path going the other direction. So actually I should probably keep these. What I really want is stone and cracked stone bricks. So I'll go get those. I need stone and stone bricks. I 
think that's it. I thought I was going to be able to thread the needle there. I guess not. <laughs> Epic fail. I just realized how bare this tree looks over this way. Hmm. Maybe we need one more leaf block there. I forgot to check what it looked like from the wall. It looks okay, just straight on it looks a little bit funky. Yeah. Let's try one more. Feels very square. Oh, yeah, nope. No, well, I guess we just leave it. It's not the end of the world, but it's very odd looking. Okay. Was worth checking out. Uh, the 1.21 is still accurate. Yep. I was trying to update to 1.21 this morning. Well, I've been trying for about a week, uh, but I can't figure out which one of my mods is causing the crash. So um, it was not as simple as like taking some educated guesses. I actually ha will have to just completely um, go one at a time and see which ones load and which ones don't. It's just, it's a very time consuming way to do it but that's kind of what we have to do so the thought that i had earlier on was having a path that would arc kind of that way follow the wall a little bit so i think what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and i'll do the inside of it i guess That might be going too far. Hmm, maybe it should go there. No, here makes sense, I think. Maybe I have to get go the other way quickly. I'm pretty sure these are only ever two blocks wide when I've made them before. Yeah, mostly two blocks wide. Okay. No, it should be a lot more subtle.
We'll curve it a lot closer on the other side, I think. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. Yeah, and then from here, we'll start to go the other direction. We're probably just going to rough this part out today. I do like that tree. Really helped the situation. Oh, Boo says, I almost forgot you moved to Wednesdays and got distracted by work. Yes. I mentioned this at the top of the stream, but I'll mention it again now. I've moved my Sunday stream. It's now a Wednesday stream. Now from here, I want to try to smoothly attach it over here, I think. Yeah, so starting like right here. Ryder the Gamer, thanks very much for the follow, appreciate it. I don't know if that's going to be quite the way that I want it to do, but that's pretty close. I feel like I could pull this part down more. Yeah, maybe more like this. That feels a little smoother. here start to go over
feel like it's too much on this side now, maybe. It's not bad. That feels a little bit better. You still think the tree needs a flowering azalea block? Really? No, oh, maybe. I kind of like the jungle as part of it. I think it's easier to come from this side. Yeah, we're getting there. Feels pretty good. We can soften that up with some texture as well. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I think that makes sense. If someone was coming out the front gate and they wanted to go down this way, but they did not want to go all the way around to the inn, I think it makes sense. I mean, if you had a horse and a buggy or something like that, then you'd probably want to take the road, right? But if you're just on foot and you're heading that way, I feel like you'd want to come out here and probably immediately Take a path going this way, right? If anything, it might curve up a little bit too far out there. We're going to have to do that back here somewhere. Oops. And this is where I'm meeting the mistakes that I made earlier. I'm going to have to adjust a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad. If you few tweaks happening back here, maybe. Take this back the other way.
Not bad for a rough draft, I think. Not bad. A little straight through there, but we can maybe fix that with some texture. Cool. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, I find that these are straighter than I want them to be, but you're at a hard position with Minecraft where you can only move things one meter at a time, left or right, so they kind of are what they are. But when they're longer like that, you can kind of curve them. Let's see. What's going on? Something is... My mouse is no longer mousing. Sorry, folks. Weird glitch. So, I'm going to leave everything here because we obviously still have a lot more work to do in this area, but custom tree has been added. I think it does quite a bit to help the area feel older. Helps break up the background, give you a foreground element as you're coming into town cuts across that nicely it's a pretty unique tree we've also got this little side path that i had not planned on doing but here we are done uh, and then we roughed in this path on the other side which i think feels pretty good to walk along if you were someone coming out of the town and you were heading east but you didn't have a horse and a cart with you you were just going to going this way i feel like this this path here would be pretty pretty natural to follow There's not much to look at when you're on it, so that's a little bit weird. Uh, obviously, there's more to look at coming this way because coming through here, you can actually, you're gonna be looking at like the pumpkin farm and then you've got the tree and then obviously everything here. So we might wanna think about doing something in this area here. Uh, that's another piece of green space that just has not been developed yet. And I feel like there needs to be something happening here. I don't know whether it's a tree or what, but there's, I feel like something needs to happen in this space, but pretty cool. We're going to pass you along to uh, Exumavoid, uh, I think is streaming. We have not rated Exumavoid in a little while. They're always a good, good Minecrafter to share some viewers with. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow. That's Thursday at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for folks overseas. And Wednesdays, today, are a new stream day. Uh, there, there is no longer a stream on Sundays. It's only on Wednesdays. And my Twitch schedule page reflects that. I've also made an announcement in the Discord. So if you're looking for that schedule, it is there in the Discord. And uh, be sure to check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast. New video version is out uh, this week. We have episode 304 is up. Uh, Johnny's away for the next two weeks. I will be hanging out with a couple of other content creators that you might enjoy over the next two weeks so tune in for that and uh, be sure to follow on social media joel duggan and of course on patreon that's patreon.com slash joel duggan that's how you can join the patron server infinity cove or if you just want to join the discord it's only uh two dollars as i mentioned earlier and it's a great way to support your favorite streamers get access to the community and uh, we'll see you tomorrow bye for now